Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Network Analysis and Synthesis. In the last tutorial we discussed composite filters and we uh, discussed about the composite low pass filter. In this quick tutorial I wish to take up a numerical on composite filters and it's a composite high pass filter. So we need to design a composite high pass filter and Oh, we can design that by using an MD right section of 0.4 and a prototype high pass filter section with L is equal to 40 millihenry and C is equal to 0.1 microfarad. So this is how a question would look like but before we dive into the question uh, let me just recapitulate that a composite filter has uh, basically three sections one is the constant K a filter section the other one is the m derived filter section and the third one is the uh, terminating sections so what we need to do here is we need to draw three sections one would be our prototype k high pass filter section that will look something like this with capacitors in the series arm and inductor in the <coughs> shunt arm an m derived high pass filter section with of course uh, capacitors in the series arms but an additional component uh, this capacitance in the shunt arm with this value uh, I'm sure you're aware of the design specifications and the component values of a prototype high pass filter and MD right filter section then we'll make another MD right section like this now this, if you look at this section, this sec this is an empty right section, uh, of course T section, but this shunt branch has been divided into two parts because out of this uh, M derived filter with M is equal to 0.6, we we will derive two terminating sections. So that is the reason I've uh, divided this branch into two different uh, branches. And of course when you divide L by M in shunt so you'll get twice of L by M and if you divide this capacitance you'll get uh, you know, this value into half. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll first design the prototype K high pass filter and it is easier to design that because uh, in this particular question <clears throat> the the values of L and C are directly given in other questions you might be given with the values of K and uh, cut off frequency from there you can find the values of L and C as mentioned in the previous tutorial so here it is pretty easy so I'll mark this value as 40 milli Henry and this could, this will become 0.2 microfarad 0.2 microfarads. This part is done. The first part is done with uh, pretty easily. And then what we have here is uh, we need to derive this M section with M is equal to 0.4. So for that, 2C by M has been calculated already with M is equal to 0.4. So this value is 0.5 microfarad. This value can will be 0.5 microfarad now L by M with M is equal to 0.4 is also calculated so this is 100 microfarad uh, milli Henry I'm sorry and this is going to be 0.19 microfarad now finally we are left with designing one more M derived section and that section will have m is equal to 0.6 because we'll make terminating sections out of it. We'll tear this uh, page from right from the center and we'll get two terminating half sections. This section will be placed here and this section will be placed here. So let's find out the values here. L by m is uh, 40 milli Henry upon 0.6 this time around. So this will become. 66.67 milli Henry 
and this will be 0.33 microfarad and this will be 0.375 microfarad so this gets a value of 0.33 microfarad this gets a value of 0.33 microfarad twice of L by M will be 133.34 milli henry this will be 133.34 milli henry and this value of capacitance is 0.375 microfarad again 0.375 microfarad so I'm going to tear this into two parts and finally I'll have this section ready so that's how you join the terminating half sections and you know that uh, we use T sections to make the prototype filter the M derived filter and the terminating sections because it's easier to divide one shunt arm into two and this becomes our final composite high pass filter and you could you could add these up in series to get one value otherwise rest is pretty okay and i hope this quick numerical on composite high pass filter was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and share the video too i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye